channel. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head. Couldn't get up in the morning. I need to get rid of this. Oh, I better clean my glasses. I really need to dye my hair. Um, and I thought I would just chat to you guys while I did it. Wait, that's why I am in this really horrible top. It's pajamas slash hair dyeing top. So, this is my lavender hair. I dyed it about two weeks ago. Speaking of, look at these roots. That's two weeks worth of growth because I bleached my hair. This is what those hair vitamins are doing. Like my hair's growing so damn quick. I really love the pinky purple. I think it just, I really love the contrast of like pinky purple with black clothes. I wear black every day. Side phone, I'll go to bed. So, how you been? I've been pretty good. I'm back at work now. I had two weeks off to go to Disneyland and get my lips done and that's it. I'm gonna dye my hair using Directions Violet. I have not had Directions Violet in my hair for, oh my God, about eight years. I had it on um, Snog Mary Voice, that's the colour that's in my hair. That was probably the last time I ever had violet in my hair. So I fancy giving that another go. Um, I've been trying to wash this out and this has washed out, my hair was all this colour. This has washed out with like no effort. When I was trying to get my blue out I was like anti dandruff shampoo, fairy up liquid, loads and loads of shampoo. I wouldn't budge but this this is like completely stripped out. And the amount of people that have told me my hair is so pretty like that. How did you get your hair like that? It's so gorgeous. I didn't, I don't want it. It does look kind of pretty and it does look purposely done because the ends are like really silver. I don't know how that happened. It's not for me. So if you want your hair like pinky purple into silver ombre, bleach it all, slap loads of lavender on your hair and wash it. So when I dye my hair, I like the base color to be as blonde as possible because your hair will only absorb a certain amount of dye and this has already absorbed the lavender. So it may not absorb the violet as well, but that's fine, it just means I have to do it again in a few days. So I want to say a big thank you first to all you guys who re-watched my lip video. It got removed because of copyright and a few other issues. Uh, but it's now back up and I lost all my views and all my likes and my comments and everything and I posted on Instagram Could you guys like go and check it out for me and just give it a big thumbs up and you really freaking did Thank you so much. You guys really helped me out there. I really really appreciate it My lips are healing up so well. They're still very red under my uh, under my foundation and they they are flat It's so weird to see because I've had like holes there for years and years and now it's just totally flat. The ones that the nurse had to dig out as well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my one before last video. The ones the nurse had to dig out are still a tiny bit, I think they're gonna leave a teeny tiny scar, but again, like nowhere near as bad as the scar that was there. And I can get them redone again for free, but I, I don't think I'll bother to be honest. I mean, the scar is nothing like the big craters that I did have and just not as obvious. Definitely worth it. 100 million percent. I mean, obviously they're still not healed. They'll take about six months to fully, like all the redness to go away. So I've got a little while to go yet, but so far they're amazing and I'm really, 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 really freaking pleased with them. But I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who rewatched my video, like it means a lot. I don't like, some people think you just sit down in front of a camera and talk and that is very true. That's all I am doing. But it takes me hours to edit and to cut all the um sadars out my videos. And this is my job, but this is not my full-time job. I do also have a, a real job and I am a mom. And so I don't actually have a lot of time to sit and edit and everything. So I really appreciate that I didn't have to film that video again. Well, I couldn't really film it again, could I? I couldn't go to Manchester and have the procedure again. So thank you, I really do appreciate that, guys. I hope this purple doesn't fade as much as the other, as the lavender did. Uh, if I remember, this violet directions used to like stick in my hair. It used to not come off. I'm hoping it does the same thing. I do want to go back to blue, but I'm seeing blue everywhere. And it's really like, nah, I'm gonna wait for the blue phase to 
go away. But I'm having quite a bit of fun as well. I want to try orange. I don't know if it will suit me. Um, and I've got quite like a weird skin tone, so I don't know if it would look nice on me. So I am thinking about changing my hair, obviously. <laughs> I've had a fringe at long hair for like quite a while now. I'm thinking about growing my fringe out and reshaving the side. I mean, it's quite long, it was shaved and I just, I never decide to grow my undercut out. I just don't shave it for a couple of weeks and then it's really long and then I'm like, meh. And I seem to always want to shave my head in winter. I never do it in summer and I don't know why. Surely doing it in summer makes so much sense. Dark. I've not had dark hair for ages. Just uploaded a too fast haul for you guys. I think that was my video a couple of videos ago. I do have another haul coming up. I got myself like so many, if not too many clothes. I also had like a really big clear out on my Depop and my eBay. So thank you to you guys that bought my shears. You're, you're enabling my addiction. I do get a lot of comments. How do you afford so many clothes? You must have like such a big wardrobe. I don't, my wardrobe is probably about that wide that wide and I sort my clothes out and I if I don't wear something in like six months three six months and it's not for like a special occasion or something then I get rid of it oh I should have taken this thing off at the time of filming this unless I lose all my subscribers I'm getting quite close to 50k which is freaking unbelievable i did my first competition at 4,000 subscribers couldn't believe that i had 4,000 people who followed the shiz that i do in my life and now i'm almost celebrating 50. that's 50,000 people that follow what i do i'm pretty sure like 45,000 of them are probably my mum but the other five must be people who are like genuinely interested and i think i'm so damn boring i don't understand why you follow me but i appreciate it so much so thank you thank you thank you and that's why i love to do giveaways so my next giveaway is at when i get 50k i have 10 prizes to give away i'm not sure what i'm gonna do to give them away i have five pieces of clothing in sizes like extra small to extra extra large i think or small to xl i, I don't know and i have bag i have makeup i have one of these cups i didn't want to give it all away to one person because there's fifty thousand of you and one just doesn't seem fair 10 doesn't seem fair but i but i um i can't afford fifty thousand presents <laughs> If you have any ideas on what I can do for the competition, how people can enter it, let me know. Give me some ideas. I've done like commenting words, tell me why you want it. Something a bit more fun and interesting might be something good. Maybe incorporate Facebook and Instagram into it. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know some ideas. Yeah, I think my hair is covered. I will also leave this on for quite a few hours. I am really having fun like experimenting with my hair. I've just had blue for so long, so this is a lot of fun. But I am missing my blue. Oh, also YouTube has I'm sure like so many other YouTubers you follow have been speaking about this. YouTube has this big thing against, I'm pretty sure it's like most YouTubers, but I feel personally victimized. They're demonetizing like a lot of my videos and I have to get them all checked, which takes time and most of my views come within like the first couple of days and you lose the revenue from that. And I know you're probably like, where, where she can't make money from her videos. But this is my job and a job I need to pay my bills, I need to pay my mortgage. You know, it just kind of sucks because it feels like, it feels a bit like they're trying to silence, <gasps> silence what I do. So it just kind of sucks. But please do check out my Patreon and pledge if you can. It would mean the absolute world. There's rewards on there that include Skype calls, there's video shout outs. If you have any other surprise suggestions like let me know i'm always happy to update it and add things that you guys actually want God, it's so weird seeing me with darker hair because i just haven't had dark hair for so long that's such a pretty color this used to be my go-to color like blue is now my glow my go-to color but it used to be this shade <laughs> violet was like the only color i ever had on my hair so now i'm just gonna wrap my hair in cling film or saran wrap i usually sleep in it but it's the morning now so i'm gonna leave it on and wash it off i think it's about 10 a.m now so i'll put this on and leave it on to probably about six i always make a hat out of it ben always laughs at me oh yeah this is sexy i can't hear this is my top tip though, like seriously, and you may look like an absolute 
stupid plastic head. But if you keep your hair dye wet, it carries on penetrating your hair. And then pop a shower cap on. You don't have to put a shower cap on, I just do because it keeps it all in place. And then you are all sexy and ready to hit the town. I can't hear anything now. I'm rewatching Desperate Housewives. I am such a loser. But I loved it when it was on telly and I've just started rewatching it. So I'm now gonna go and watch some of that. Um, and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Stay weird. Hate it. I don't think I've ever hated a hair colour on myself so much as I hate this. It does have amazing sticking power though and I'm trying to wash it out and it's not budging. If you want really low maintenance hair colour, Direction's Violet. I friggin hate it on me. <laughs>